Hey guys, Brad here with Custom Offsets. Got another episode of Lifts and Levels for you. This is going to be a super lift, six inch kit for 2000 to 2006 GM SUVs, Yukons, Yukon XL, Tahoe, Suburban, Avalanche, Escalade, all the uh, coil sprung rear GM SUVs. So first off, so we got our new lower control arm drop cross members here. You got the front and the rear. You can see they actually have some bracing here as well for when the front diff gets dropped down. One thing to note here is you'll notice this um, new matte finish here, dull finish that Superlift went to. This is supposed to be their new finish here. And it looks like you got this matte stuff and then you got some other random parts here that we'll get to later. And this is all kind of gloss black. One thing off the bat that I kind of wasn't very impressed with here was that they give you different finished parts. I know that they're trying to switch to this. And I'm assuming it's just because they had still leftover inventory of their old finish, um, but then they all boxed it up together. It's not going to hurt or affect the performance, just kind of a pet peeve. So I figured I'd point it out to you guys before someone else points it out in the comments. Getting to it, this is a torsion drop kit. So the torsion bars get dropped down. They stay in the lower control arms, the factory spot, and then they get dropped down. This is going to be the drop brackets, this one here and this one here. They'll go in about the mid frame, uh, halfway, about under the driver's door of the frame. You'll see the bars will get dropped down once we install it. We'll check it out. Of course, we got our new knuckles here. These are new forged knuckles uh, that Superlift uses. It does increase track width, just like most other IFS GM kits. So you can see they actually give you a nice aluminum uh, CV axle spacer here, no plastic spacer. So that's nice. I believe the increase is about inch and a half, inch and three quarter. It'll push the front wheels out on each side. So the customer did get some spacers for the rear. Uh, what else we got? We got a skid plate here, which will tie in between. This is the skid plate. It's going to tie in between two cross members underneath, help protect that front diff once it gets dropped down. This is the upgraded kit with the Bilstein shocks. So on these SUVs, uh, they actually use bracket and you'll reuse the factory rear shocks, but you get replacement front shocks. So you'll notice there's only two shocks and that's why. And these right here are going to be the brackets for the rear, the shock brackets, the extension brackets. So you can reuse the factory shocks got some bump stop relocation brackets here as well. That's what these are gonna be. Um, some, some extended sway bar end links here, which you, these are gonna be, and you can see this is gonna be that same textured black finish here. And then pretty much what else we got for the rear would be a track bar relocation bracket, which is going to be this bracket. That's gonna be for the rear of the truck. These are coil sprung truck four link with a track bar. So you need to relocate the track bar to keep everything centered, the axle centered in the back. And then of course we got our new replacement springs, which is nice. So you don't have the, there's no spacers in the rear. We get complete spring replacement for the rear. And that's about it. Bunch of hardware. You do have to cut the front cross member on this truck. So they do include a weld in plate for you as well. We're going to go ahead and install it and then we will check back on it. All right guys. So we're going to run through the Superlift six inch kit uh, as it's installed in the truck here, just so you can get an idea of where the parts go, everything like that once it's installed. Now remember this truck does have some other parts on it that aren't included with the lift kit. For example, it's got kryptonite stuff on it. So we got the kryptonite tie rods here, the sleeves with the inners and outers are heavy duty tie rods. And then up in there, you probably won't be able to see them, but there's some other kryptonite parts, uh, pitman arm and the idler support arm all that good stuff. But for the lift kit, so we got our new super lift knuckles here, as you can see, uh, the new extended uh, sway bar end links. So it keeps the factory bar in the factory location, just the new end links there. Lower control arm drop cross members, which are gonna be these new pieces here to lower that those control arms down. When you do so on this truck, this is a torsion drop truck. So you can see the bars here, these are the torsion bars. Uh, factory, they're all tucked up actually under the frame. You don't even really see them. But now you can see them hanging down there. They have these brackets back here to drop the actual uh, loading bar where the key is. So that gets all dropped down. A lot of people like the look of that and that's why a lot of people do it. But then there's some other systems that are non-torsion drop systems which will keep those bars up and relocate uh, where the bar mounts on the control arm. Moving on from there, we got our new shocks. These are the upgraded Bilstein shocks for the super lift kit. Another important piece of this lift kit is the differential drop here, which are going to be these brackets up here and also ties in between the two cross members and it's held together all with this uh, skid plate here for the front diff. And what that does is it gives you the better CV axle angles and then spacers as well for the CV axles, which are going to be these aluminum pieces here because track width is increased about inch and a half, inch and three quarter. It's going to push the front track width out. So a lot of guys will run spacers in the rear. What did this guy get? Two inch or inch and three quarter spacers. 
This customer, and a lot of people do it, will just get two inch spacers for the rear because they're easier to get than inch and three quarter and you won't notice a quarter inch difference on that. That's gonna be about it for the front components. There's no drive shaft spacer or anything like that. Only the CV axle spacers. So that's pretty much all there is to talk about for up here. And then we can move to the back. So in the back here, we're gonna run through the components. These trucks are a little different than the pickup trucks because the pickup trucks are gonna be a leaf sprung truck. These are coil sprung with the four link suspension and the fan hard bar or track bar, whatever you wanna call it. So there's a little more parts in the back here and we'll run through them. Now you'll notice that there's Bilsteins in the back. Superlift doesn't include rear Bilsteins because the back is designed to re reuse the factory length shock. So you'll see these shock extension brackets. We just went ahead and upgraded some stock length uh, Bilstein 5100s just to match the front Bilstein 5100s. So that's what these are. You can see the shock extension bracket here, which bolts into the factory shock location. We got our new coil springs here, so there's no spacers that will lift the rear. It's going to be all done by the spring. We got bump stop relocation brackets on both sides here. Um, another key piece is this pan hard relocation bracket. So you'll see the factory, the bar would locate down here, but this extension moves the location up there. And that's the center of the axle under the vehicle at the new height, the new lifted height. Uh, new sway bar end links, they can be seen here as well. So the factory bar, just longer end links on both sides. And that's pretty much all you gotta do for the rear. You do have to move some brake lines around, so you gotta bend these. There's some extensions and whatnot to move the brake lines just so they're still playing them and they're not tight at uh, full droop. And I think you do gotta move around the e-brake cables as well. And that's going to be about it for the rear. This is gonna be the Superlift six inch kit for GM SUVs, all the stuff with the coil springs in the rear. So Yukon, Tahoe, Suburban, Yukon XL, Avalanche, and Escalades, depending on how they're optioned. Peace.